Hey everybody, what's up? I am Rakino, your host, and we are jumping into Pokemon Go Fest 2020. So today was the first day of Pokemon Go Fest, and I am going to bring you all the little uh, things that happened during the day and show you what you might have missed if you missed it, if you played. Cool. But the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a ticket. Um, so you can go into the shop here and you can click that ticket, Go Fest 2020. It's $15, though, to participate in this event. But everybody can do it. So here it is, a ticket to access Pokemon Go Fest on July 25th and 26th of 2020 from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. local time each day, wherever you are. Details can be found in the in-game news. You must play during the specific time to receive all the special event bonuses. So I just bought it. And what happens here is we're going to exit here and we're going to find out. And you get this Pokemon Go Global uh metal basically and so how to get there is you are in your profile that's where it's at right in there so i'll show you click there scroll down and there it is now i bought mine a day early but uh this is the day what happens whenever it starts so new challenge is starting you can see all those little droplets um dropping around um they're little uh water pokemon right now every hour it switches um, but right now, first thing I need to do here is I want to get my, my buddy out and feed him and do all that stuff. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is get my buddy fed and so he can walk around with me. So you're going to play with him. Welcome to my home, my humble abode. I'm just going to look at the ground there and tap wherever the legs are. Get my superior dude out. And he, again, I'm rubbing him right now with my finger and that, that gives him that little extra heart every more hearts you know you get the uh the the more benefits you get with your partner so i'm feeding him with these pinup berries because i got like a ton of them um and yeah, throughout the day i had to buy more storage and more uh for pokemon and uh more item storage and then raid passes because i was raiding like crazy all right he's all fed so go back to the menu here for some reason he doesn't pop up but it's all right we're gonna talk to professor oak and see what he has to say about today i mean professor willow welcome to pokemon go fest 2020 rack you know go fest this year will be a little different from previous years but it will be just as fun and challenging i've noticed an amazing phenomenon it seems as though different pokemon are appearing in the area on what seems an hourly basis i need your help collecting data on this situation i thought it would be fun to give you some tasks to help you research this phenomenon i'll make sure you get a reward for your hard work don't delay since different pokemon seem to be appearing each hour you have limited time to complete these tasks you can see trainers for progress by checking the global challenge arena er, oh, yeah arena to help with the, your research be sure to use incense to attract pokemon remember you can now activate several incense at once and have them attract pokemon to you for hours incense smells amazing doesn't it well real incense is from animals and urine, so I don't know. I'll bring you, it'll bring you, it brings a smile to my face knowing that millions of trainers around the world are working together right now because they, of their shared love of Pokemon. Furthermore, I've been sensing a great energy that has filled me with hope and determination. Have you been feeling it as well? But Pokemon instance smells delicious. <laughs> I wonder whether it's connected to the strange happenings that kicked off our research this weekend. I have a feeling today's just the beginning of an exciting adventure. We'll have another fun-filled day tomorrow. For now, I'm going to start looking into this situation. Perhaps it's related to a powerful Pokemon. Now, Rakino, I'm sure you know what I'm going to say next. Let's go! <laughs> All right, so here is the special menu. All right, for to the 25th day uh, list, you have to take a snapshot of your buddy, use an incense, catch 20 fire fight, type Pokemon, catch 20 water type Pokemon, 20 grass type Pokemon, battle on two raids, and make a new friend. And then there's your rewards at the end. You get two special little eggs that will give you double XP. And those are all the Pokemon ones. 
Okay, so this is, I'm guessing there's going to be one tomorrow because there's, this is, says welcome, so I'm guessing the next one is something else. But if you scroll over to the today, you can see the welcome to Pokemon Go Fest. You can click that little link there. It'll take you to their website where you can check out all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and then you can scroll down and you can see what's going on for the challenge. So today's challenge, or this hour's challenge is already completed. And what happens is you get that bonus activated. Uh, uh, three times the catch of stardust so every time you catch you get three times the amount of stardust and uh, there's only four minutes left there's how many great throws that was the challenge was great throws it shows you your friends list it shows you all the bonuses and the regular stuff below it uh, so that's that menu okay so I'll keep you updated on these rewards here when I catch them I'll show you what you get uh, there's my buddy there he is. so you got all this little confetti stuff flying around that's pretty neat um yeah so let's get into it okay so the first thing i'm gonna check out is the shop and you uh get a free remote passes you get three of them which is pretty awesome the daily uh box i don't need any supplies right now i got too many already as it is for today's event all right so the first thing i want to do is equip an incense because it smells so good apparently the pokemon love it I'm um, checking to see if I need to heal anybody. Nope. Okay, so we'll go ahead and tap the incense, which I've been building up for a while. There's one mission complete. All right, let's go take a look at that. Uh, yep, there it is. 200 Pokeballs is the reward. That's ridiculous. Now I'm overstocked. Um, so immediately I got a Pokemon that comes up. It's Blastoise. So every, like, I'd say every 10 seconds to 15 seconds, the Pokemon will switch out. So whatever Pokemon's there will disappear. Another one will pop up. Um, there is some really good Pokemon you'll see that pop up. Um, but yeah, so that's how it rolls if you have the incense. It doesn't matter if you're in an area that spawns Pokemon or not. There will always be, when you have incense on, there will always be a Pokemon that pops up. Uh, if you don't like it, wait 15 seconds, another Pokemon will pop up. Now, whatever the challenge is for that owl hour, so this is like a water type hour, that's what you're gonna see is a lot of water type Pokemon popping up. Um, and it will switch every hour. So I don't need that Blastoise because I've already got plenty. Um, and you know, he wasn't that good anyway. But so here's a new, new, uh, big thing for today is stickers. They give you tons of stickers for today. Um, it's about every hour. I, every hour. Hey, what do you know? So you get stickers, and you can send your stickers to your buddies or your friends. Uh, let's catch this guy real quick, and we'll move on. All right. So Qualfish is now caught, and I've always, uh, throughout the day, it's very important, I would say, to check the analysis of the Pokemon appraise it and see how well it is most of them are not that good so you can trade them out or transfer them um, the Pokemon that are spawning are rare Pokemon most of the time or, or harder to get Pokemon than normal so that's the big the cool thing about today's uh, go fest is that you have these more rare Pokemon that are popping up um, but that is that now this this is what's really cool as well is that shinies shiny pokemon pop up way more as well during this event which is another benefit of doing this event so normally at this time i would put a um, golden raspberry on that thing and grab an ultra ball um or the yellow black ball whatever one that is um there we go there's the, there's that um because i don't want it to flee or run away from me um but in this case i don't do that i just use a regular pokeball all right so now that he's caught i'm going to go check it out Praise it. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is put that little star up there in the top right corner. I'm gonna star him because I want him to be my favorite. Don't want to get rid of him. He is a two star. I'm gonna move on to another Pokemon here that I catch, and it's unknown. Now there's two. Today there was two types of unknowns: the letter G unknown and the letter O unknown that responded uh, quite often. 
and at the very end, I think I might have it on video, at the very end, um, I get a shiny. So, like I said, uh, that was very, I was, I was like, it was like five minutes left of the event. I was like, come on, just give me the shiny already. And I've checked a lot of them too. All right, so we caught him. Definitely gonna star him, and we'll move on to the next part. Oh wait, you know what? Here is my first time catching one, which is pretty awesome. Um, I was super stoked to be able to get these today. Okay, so uh, the hour has swapped over. Now there's little leaves falling. You can see now it's all leaf Pokemon uh, that spawn. For the most part, you'll see some other ones uh, spawn as well, but the part right now is leaves that are spawning. Um, and and some of these I'm just catching like this guy to get the candies so I can power up my you know my upgraded version or my evolved version. Okay, so here's what it looks like whenever the challenge is active. It's a global challenge. Use 4,800,000 berries to help catch Pokemon. And you can see your little list there. That's how I've only used one so far, but it's an hour long challenge. There's some more stickers today or this hour. Um, but it's an hour long challenge and I'll tell you the challenge the global challenge gets completed within typically within the first 10 minutes um, because there's so many people playing Pokemon Go at the time so I'll catch this guy because I need more candy so I can evolve him and there we go alright we're gonna move on to the next cool thing surprise okay so there's three pokemon in, that was today at least that have little pikachu hat on it's bulbasaur charmander and squirtle i was a little worried about squirtle uh and i was afraid that i wasn't gonna get two of them because i want to make sure my son gets one as well um but yeah there's two or there's all three of those give you a little hat look at it it's so cute but it does not evolve so you can't evolve it into the next you know next thing but all right moving on all right so i decided to go over to the park to show you uh you know where there's a lot more pokemon that are going to pop up you're going to see all the raids going on um there you go there's a bunch of pokemon popping up uh we are in the hour of the leaf still but it, the quest has been completed you can see up on the top right there you see how i have my instance still going um and the xp um this one is that is three times um for the next 34 minutes uh but yeah this is what the area is it's just going crazy with pokemon it's almost too hard to see everything but the raids are happening and that's uh what i'm gonna be doing here in a minute and yeah okay so in the raids that the main raids that were popping up you'd see is uh the executor is that what the one is that big palm tree one um blastoise clank um <clears throat> then you had some of these legendary ones that were pop that, that would pop up there was only a few of them that were uh, popping up the big old whale looking one gordon over here uh, kyogre is the, the whale looking one uh, grodon and so what i do is i check to see if anybody's in the in the raid um if there's not i might you know i might wait until someone pops in there or i might start it and see people pop in and once you use a battle pass it does a battle pass doesn't start until you start battling so you can jump out and then jump back in and time will restart so that's a good way to not use your battle pass right away so that's what i'm gonna do over here as you can see it'll pop up it says the pass won't start until you've jumped into battle itself so i sit there i wait Make sure I equip my stuff to get my uh, double XP, my uh, star piece to get more of my, what you would call it, the, gosh, I can't even think of the name of it right now. Jeez, Stardust, gosh, yeah, 50% uh, more Stardust. So yeah, I got those three free remote passes, so we do the battle, and I'll, I'll uh, show you that now. And we are off. So I wasn't having much luck with the Kyogre, so I, I had to move over to this guy. Um, <laughs> you know, I was super excited today because I was like, yes, I get to fight these legendaries that I haven't fought in a while. Hoping to get a shiny. Unfortunately, I did not get any shinies. But uh, I'll let you guys enjoy this little battle here and um, maybe a couple battles and we'll go on from there.
Okay, so a little tip for you, uh, don't, people that don't know how to play or fight these guys, one of the ways you can help your your little character stay alive is you see how I slide over, you just swipe over, you can dodge the super attack that the big beast does. So right whenever you see the mud or whatever it is that, that goes down on the floor, you hurry up and just swipe over and you can dodge it. So right whenever you see that, swipe over and start dodging. The downside is if you're in the middle of using your special attack, you're still going to get hit. But that's how that works. Um, another thing to remember is when you jump out like this, you can hurry up and jump back in, rejoin, or you can hurry up and heal your, you can heal all your Pokemon, the best ones that were recommended for the battle. Um, just a little tidbit of information that people don't know. And then you can jump back in. It's going to be the secondary team that was up already. But at least if all these team, this whole team faints, then you can, it'll be all your best Pokemon again, ready to fight. Another good indicator if you're going to beat the guy or not is to look at the time. And you see how you can see the clock thing moving around on the top there. If it's like halfway or even a quarter of the way through, then look at his health bar. If the health is down a quarter and the timer is only at a quarter or less than a quarter, then you know that you have a chance of beating it. Um, so if the time is halfway, his health should be less than half and you know that you're going to win. If it's like a three quarters on his health, there's not going to be any way you're going to win. Save yourself and just jump out and then you can do the next battle with more people. Um, that's just a way to indicate and that will save you from using all your revives as, as well as using your um, potions to heal your Pokemon. It will save you a ton. Uh, but the first quarter of the time is going to be a good indicator. Look at his health. You should have at least more than a quarter of his health down. Um, and that, that's a very good tip to know whether or not you're going to beat the guy or not. And talk to the people around you that are battling with you and say, yo, we're not going to win this. Let's all jump out. Let's wait for more people to battle. Uh, that's my insight to give to you during this video. Let's move on to catching him. And uh, some tips on catching is I use these Ninab berries and the golden bear, uh, golden raspberries. And sometimes I'll use that that silver, uh, the silver berry I had there. Um, that silver pinup berry because it it helps you catch them and it also uh, gives you more candy and I was hoping to get more candy from this guy so I can power my my, my better one up um, so I used that a few times to try to get him and uh, yeah we'll, we'll see how that goes <laughs> uh, but here's a tip is the ninab berry I switch between golden raspberry and ninab berry and it, it that's how I catch most of these it's a, it's a huge help um, and I hope it helps you if you're going to play this game. Alright, moving on. So yeah, there's a lot of legendary raids going on. And there's a lot of Pokemon popping up. But we're going to go ahead and claim some of the rewards that I have won. So we got a few of them to collect here and show you what Pokemon pop up out of them. I don't know I don't know if they're the same for everybody. So the first one I get was Venusaur. So I catch uh, Venusaur and I think it's guaranteed. I think it's just a pain in the butt sometimes to catch them. But we're moving on to the next one which is Gibble and I catch him as well. Next uh, legendary raid I go after is Kyogre. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through this video. Okay, so what I was talking about before, you see the time? It's about right at a quarter, and look at his health. This is going to be a very, very close match, because we're just past a quarter of his health being down, which is good. I think we're going to win it. Actually, we do win it. So, But that is a good indicator to check out whenever you're doing it, so you know whether or not you want to tell everybody in your group, hey, let's jump out, let's do wait for one more person or something like that. So I think I did about, I want to say, five legendary raids, and only one of them I was not able to catch. Um, as you can see here, I'm using the pinup berries because I want to get more candy from these guy big guys so I can level up my other Pokemon. 
Um, I think in the end on this one, I have to use my... So I'll use it for... I get 12 Pokeballs because my team was the best... The, did the most damage on the on the Pokemon. Um, so I'll use probably like five or six balls using like pinup berries. And if it's not going my way and I'm not... He keeps breaking out. Then that's when I'll switch over to Ninab berries and uh, golden raspberries. I'll switch... Be I'll alter between the two. Uh, but yeah, see, I, I'm, I have eight more balls left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start using the golden raspberries and the uh, ninap berries. Now, if you ever if you ever wonder why I do the spinning of the ball, it gives you a spin catch bonus, so it helps you actually catch the Pokemon by spinning it. I guess maybe it stirs them up when they go in the ball. They're probably flinging around inside, you know. I don't, I don't know, but spinning it does give you a help. It gives you a spin catch bonus, so that's why I spin it almost every time. Alright, so some of the other things you might see are Team Go Rocket. They're out here messing around, being, uh, you know, trying to cause trouble and steal the Pokestop stuff and Pokemon. So once you're done with your raid battle, you've got to make sure you remember to revive them and heal your Pokemon. Especially if you're going to go do another raid or you're going to fight, fight Team Go Rocket again. Alrighty, let's face. Of course, my bag's still full. <laughs> we don't let you ruin our plans to take over Pokestops. All right. See, there's a little tip, by the way, on that little screen there. It kind of gives you a tip of what type of Pokemon he's going to use. He says these waters are rough or something like that. I don't know exactly what he said, but that lets you know that he's probably going to use water Pokemon. So then you can choose your Pokemon. I always typically use the same team here because they're my best team and they I win every time. Oh, and look at he uses a magic harp. So this is gonna be a really easy match here. Um, grunts are really they're pretty easy. They don't use their shields. Everybody every match you get, you know, two shields. Uh, you can use your shield, but the grunts, they won't use their shields. Um, and the the leaders I'm not even sure if the leaders use shields. I think they do use shields, but there's they can they can be tricky, sometimes they can be easy, sometimes they can be hard. So as you can see, he used three Magikarps in a row. So guess what Pokemon I'm going to catch? I'm gonna catch a Shadow Magikarp uh, for for the uh, to rescue at the end here. All right, what is he saying? So, so you're what did they say? So you're so good. Uh, yeah, there we go. Win. Yeah, yeehaw. 98 of 100. I'm almost there, everybody. Oh, he said. Uh, so you are good basically he's been told that i'm good but he didn't believe it for himself he had to come face the master of disaster here here we go we're gonna catch this uh thing and we're gonna move on all right so the hour switched over and now it's battle in three hundred thousand raids so i already did a couple raids but it looks like i'm gonna have to do some more uh we got some more tasks to go but i'm gonna go ahead and speed up this video and i'm just gonna show you the good stuff um so now you can see all the, the little things that are falling they're little they're little raid boss guys that are falling from the sky pretty neat though right <clears throat> okay so here we go and the next hour is send 1,500,000 gifts to your friends. I also completed a couple tasks here that I'll collect my 10 instants. And the next Pokemon that I get is Snorlax. So 
compare it to see what you guys got and or if you played and let me know in the comments what you got for the prize or if it was the same thing real quick i wanted to show you here that we've added this challenge here it's there's 54 minutes left and we already almost the global challenge is already almost completed that's how fast the gift for this one is gifts may contain rare candies so from your friends when you're getting gifts and you open it up you might get a rare you you should get rare candies out of it and you get a lot trust me okay so the next global challenge is four million eight hundred thousand fire type pokemon that you need to catch that's the next global challenge i also completed another uh, uh special task over here we'll collect it and the pokemon that i get is blastoise um which kind of stinks because there's already a blastoise that you can catch in the wild there uh for today so not a big big win there but let me know if that's what you got if you played if you didn't uh both well, that's what i got <laughs> now i'm going to show you guys uh some of the pokemon that you can get that are rare uh rarer to get is marowak marowak is uh the aloan form i believe um aloan form is one of i was so i was like surprised that these guys were spawning like non-stop i was like wow so of course I got myself one and one for my kids so that I can trade him and let him have one as well because he didn't pay $15 to play so that would be nice. And as you can see there, there's the O of the unknown which I was unable to tap at the time. Um, and then you had this little guy pop up, the Durumaka. Durumaka I'm guessing? I hope I'm saying that right. But That's one that I hadn't gotten before so I was pretty happy to see that guy pop up. Then here you see Heatmore popped up, and I was happy because I don't have him either. So after all the fire Pokemon I caught, I finally com can com claim that last one there, and it is Chazod, um, which he also spawns in the wild as well. So let me know if you got Charizard from the gift or as the reward, or if it was something different. I will say that the best part about this is that the reward for the candy look at that it was 20 but i used the pin up berry and i got 40 candy which is a huge amount so i guess that is the benefit of catching or getting that as a reward so i finally finished the go fest 2020 welcome uh, special research and i get that 20 10 000, uh stardust the two lucky eggs and 10,000 xp and now it's at the bottom there uh go fest 2020 completion another one that pops up a lot is litwick which he's kind of rare uh to pop up so that is exciting as well we're gonna move on to the next one the next global challenge is make three million two hundred thousand great throws for across the board for everybody ever jointly everybody together make that many great throws so that is the next task and right now it's water pokemon popping up every hour it swaps again and let's move on to the next all right so the day is over and guess what you get to see in the background is a beautiful scene of fireworks different colored fireworks so yeah so let's go through the pokemon and show you what kind of things i've got um for today uh, there's the unknown the shiny one that i was like what i finally got one rotom he's a pokemon now in order to get him you had to take a picture of your pokemon your buddy and he would pop up immediately when you exit the screen um some of the other ones i got here here's that uh squirtle that has a little hat he's a cute little booger isn't he then we have um that alamorana whatever that is uh, magic carp the sh a shiny magic carp i got uh time pole uh, Tim Pole, however you say that, he doesn't pop up that often. Charmander with his little Pikachu hat, super, super cute. I got a shiny Hound Door today. Um, what else did I get here? There is this uh, Tepig. He doesn't pop up very often either, which is pretty neat. I got a shiny Chansey today. I was like, what? Um, Chimicho? 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 Uh, Toba, uh, Tog, Togatet. Gosh, the names are so hard. I did another raid and got Clink. Uh, those were some of the Pokemon that popped up, except for Clink. He was a raid. There's a couple of the raids that I got. Durant, he popped up. He was a pain in the butt to catch. I'll tell you what. Um, and then Zangoose, which I had I'd seen a long time ago, and I had never been able to catch him, and I finally got a couple. 
unknown the circle or the O so that is the Pokemon that I've got and that's about it on here though Oshawott he is another one that popped up quite a bit um, so those were some of the special ones that I got today that I wanted to fill you in. I got like, what was that, three or four shinies? It was a pretty impressive day. So there is tomorrow. I'm going to upload this, and it's the 25th when I'm uploading it. Well, close to the 26th, but if you're in the United States, um, you can still get the pass and play it for tomorrow. And I don't know if it's going to have more. But that wraps up today, so I hope you all enjoyed the video, and give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe to my channel, and all you have to do is tap that middle button right in the middle of the screen there, my logo, and you will subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and until tomorrow.